Well, former President Trump is back in court for the multi-million dollar civil fraud trial against the Trump Organization in New York City. His lawyers are calling their second to last witness, a New York University accounting professor called uh, Eli Bartov. Trump says Bartov is one of the greatest experts in the country. Bartov actually took the stand but claiming that his analysis found no evidence whatsoever of any accounting fraud. We're not surprised. I mean, this is witness Trump's to the defense. Witness, sure. exactly. Let's get straight to our uh, investigative correspondent, Aaron Katursky, who's been following this outside the courthouse all day. So just bring us up to speed on the proceedings and what stood out to you so far, Aaron. Uh, Trump is clearly enjoying what he's hearing from this defense <laughs> expert, Kira. He's sitting back rather satisfied, bit of a smirk on his face, because this accounting professor from NYU said he saw no evidence of fraud in the attorney general's complaint, and he said that complaint lacked merit. And of the financial statements that Trump submitted to banks and, and insurance companies to get the favorable terms that uh, the judge has already said were riddled with fraud, the, th this accounting expert said, I've never seen statements that provide so much detail and are so transparent as these statements. Almost sounds like Trump himself. Uh, and, and at one point, when the attorney general's lawyers pointed out that, well, look, he's a hired gun. He can, it sounds like he's being, you know, paid for his, for his expertise. Uh, he, the, the witness shot back, said, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Uh, you put a fraudulent complaint out there uh, and, and things got a bit heated. Hmm. So uh, this trial is now uh, going on for 10 weeks. What's next? It's going to be uh, ending soon, we think, Terry. After this witness has finished testifying, former President Trump himself will take the stand in his own defense on Monday. And then there may be a brief rebuttal case by the state. We're not sure yet. The sides have 30 days after that to submit written summations. There will also be some closing arguments before the judge renders a decision sometime in February. And at that point, we expect the attorney general's office to have made a recommendation as to the fine, the disgorgement, as it's called, that they want uh, Trump to pay. And it could be as high as $400 million, what the, the state considers to be the ill-gotten gains uh, of Trump's fraudulent financial statements. And so part of the defense here is to try and minimize that, but also set a record for appeal, because, Terry, that's ultimately where this case is headed. All right, and let's remind everybody, this is not the only case that we have been following. Many other cases that are headed in various directions. Um, let's talk about some of the other legal challenges Trump is facing right now as he continues to hold the front-runner position for 2024. Help him. He's got four criminal indictments in addition to this civil case, uh, a number of which are scheduled to go to trial uh, next year. And already today, Kira, the former president uh, took a step maybe to try and delay at least one of those cases, the one that charges him over his efforts to overturn the election culminating in January 6th. Uh, he has filed an appeal of a decision that uh, denied his attempt to dismiss that case. And so he's now going to try and appeal it. His lawyers asked today to let all of those appeals go through to the, the D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals and then ultimately perhaps to the U.S. Supreme Court before the case is even allowed to move forward. Hard to imagine the district court judge that oversees it, Judge Tanya Chutkin, allowing that. But Trump is asking, and it does seem like if he's successful, it would significantly push the trial date currently scheduled for March way down the road into 2024. We'll be tracking them all. It's kind of hard to keep track. <laughs> We're keeping track. Hard to keep track. Aaron, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.